So in this lecture, we're going to discuss a process in organic chemistry known as resolution. So resolution is the separation of a racemic mixture of enantiomers. A racemic mixture is simply a mixture composed of 50% of the R enantiomer and 50% of the S enantiomer. So let's suppose I take my racemic mixture and place it inside a container. So this container contains 50% R enantiomer and 50% of its mirror image S enantiomer. So what resolution allows us to do is it allows us to separate the R from the S. So after resolution, we're going to have a container that strictly has R enantiomer and a second container that only has the S enantiomer. So before we discuss the steps of resolution, let's recall the distinction between enantiomers and diastereomers. So enantiomers are stereoisomers that are mirror images of one another, while diastereomers are stereoisomers that are not mirror images of one another. And enantiomers have identical physical properties. So properties such as boiling point and melting point are exactly the same for enantiomers. On the contrary, diastereomers usually have very contrasting, very different physical properties. So they differ in the boiling point or melting point of the compounds. So let's begin our discussion on the steps of resolution. So your first step is to take your racemic mixture. So here we have our racemic mixture. We have the R enantiomer and the S enantiomer. And we mix it or react it with some other chiral molecule. Now, when these react, they will form two different compounds. They're going to form this compound and the below compound. So when this chiral molecule reacts with the R, we form this. When this molecule reacts with the S, we form this. Now, these two compounds are no longer enantiomers. Now, we call them diastereomers. And that means they differ in their melting point, their boiling point, their density, their physical properties. So now we can separate them according to their differences in physical properties. So we can use a step like distillation or chromatography or crystallization to separate these into different containers. And now after step two, we have in one container, we have one diastereomer and we have the second diastereomer in the second container. And now we can react these two molecules in a way to get back our chiral molecule and one of the R or one of the S. So for this compound, we can react it in a way for it to form back our chiral and the R. For this compound, we can react it in a way for it to form back our chiral and our S enantiomer. And so now we have completely separated them into two different mixtures. One contains only R and the chiral molecule, and one contains only S and the chiral molecule. So this is known as resolution. So once again, resolution is the separation of your racemic mixture of enantiomers using a chiral molecule. You produce diastereomers, which are then separated by physical proper differences, and finally, you revert back to your two molecules, your chiral and the R, and the chiral and the S in the final step. And that's resolution.